hello everyone welcome to solve this math algebra problem and here we have m4 plus m square equals to 20 and here we find all the roots of m so now here the very first step we are going to do is you see here uh, the highest power of this equation is 4 it means that this equation has fourth roots okay so now we find those four roots and after that we check those roots is those roots are satisfied this equation or not okay so here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as in this form so this is m to the power of uh, 4 uh, and plus uh, m square and here we move this 20 in the left hand side and it is written as minus 20 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step here uh, we break uh, this minus 20 and we write it as m to the power of 4 plus m square minus 16 minus 4 we know that minus 16 minus 4 becomes minus 20 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step here we make the pair of uh, uh, m to the power of 4 with 16 and we make the pair of m square with minus 4 and it is written as here m square minus 4 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step here we rewrite this equation in this form so this is m to the power of 4 and we write it as m square and its whole square minus this is 16 and we write it as 4 square and plus here you have this is m square and we write this 4 as minus 2 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step here we need uh, the nice square identities and we know about this identity if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. Here we use, uh, we need this nice formula uh, so that according to uh, this nice formula we uh, simplify our above equation and here uh, in this equation we have the value of uh, a is m square and here the value of b is 4. Similarly here uh, the value of a is m and the value of b is 2. So now uh, according to these two values of uh, a and b here we solve uh, the above equation so now we use this nice formula and our above equation is written as so uh, we have a minus b a plus b so this is written as m square minus 4 into m square plus 4 and uh, we apply this is this formula to this equation and it is written as m minus 2 into m plus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now after that uh, here we again use uh, this uh, nice formula uh, this formula on the first term and uh, here we apply this formula and we write m square minus 4 as uh, m minus 2 into m plus 2 and here you have m square plus 4 plus uh, here we have these two factors m minus 2 into m plus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here uh, you see that uh, we have m minus 2 and m plus 2 be the two common factors uh, so that here we take common m minus 2 into m plus 2 and the remaining terms are here we take common these two factors and the remaining terms are m square plus 4 and when we take common these two factors and here we get only 1 and this whole equation equals to 0. So uh, here uh, we convert this equation into the three cases. So first case is we take m minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we take uh, m plus 2 equals to 0 and the third case is we take this value equals to 0 so this value is written as m square plus 4 plus 1 is 5 equals to 0 
So now in this case, we easily get the first root of the given equation and it is m1 equals to 2 and from here we easily get the uh, second root of the given equation and it is m2 equals to minus 2 and here we need to find other two roots from this equation. So now first we copy down uh, this equation here m square and we write this uh, uh, 5 as minus times of uh, uh, minus 5 and this is equals to 0. And now after that uh, we know uh, about this uh, minus 1 uh, we know that uh, iota square is equals to minus 1 or in other words uh, here we move this minus 5 to the right hand side and it is written as m square equals to minus 5 okay so now we take the square root on both of the sides and we get our m equals to plus minus square root of minus 5 and here we have plus minus square root of 5 into iota because we have iota square equals to minus 1 and iota equals to square root of minus 1 so these are the other two roots of the given equation so here we write m3 equals to square root of 5 iota and m4 equals to minus square root of 5 iota so these are the other two roots so we have these are the total four roots of the given equation and now we verify these solutions and here we have the first root is m1 equals to 2 and the second root is m2 equals to minus 2 so now first we verify these two roots of the given equation and here we first copy down the given question statement it is m4 plus m square equals to 20. now we substitute these root these two roots on here and first we put this value here and it is written as 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 square equals to 20. and here we know that 2 to the power of 4 becomes 16 and 2 square is 4 equals to 20 and this shows that 20 equals to 20. It means that our first root is satisfied the given equation. And now we check our second root. It is m2 equals to minus 2 and we substitute it here. It is written as minus 2 to the power of 4 plus minus 2 square equals to 20. So minus 2 to the power of 4 also 16. This is also 4 equals to 20 and we have 20 equals to 20. It means that uh, the second solution is also satisfied our given equation and now we move towards our third and fourth solution so our third solution is m3 equals to square root of 5 iota and the fourth solution is m4 equals to minus square root of 5 iota so now uh, we substitute these two values on this equation okay so uh, when we substitute these values on a given equation it is written as a square root of 5 iota and its whole power 4 and plus square root of 5 iota and its whole square equals to 20 and we substitute this value here and it is written as minus square root of 5 whole power 4 plus minus square root of 5 iota square equals to 20 okay so now first we simplify this one and you see here uh, when we take uh, uh, this scale 4 power on this value it is written as a square root of 5 and its whole power 4 so this iota uh, to the power of 4 and similarly this 2 and square root are gone and we have iota square equals to 20. so we know that the value of iota to the power of 4 equals to 1 and iota square is minus 1 and we write this as uh, a square root of 5 whole square and its whole square we break this exponent 4 in this way and iota power 4 equals to 1 and iota square is minus 1 and it is equals to minus 5 equals to 20. so this 2 and square root are gone and we get 5 and, and the square of 5 becomes 25 minus 5 equals to 20 and we get here 20 equals to 20 okay this shows that our third root is also uh, satisfied our given equation similarly this root is also satisfied the given equation you easily get 25 minus 5 equals to 20 
and 20 equals to 20 so this these uh, fourth root also satisfied our given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos